for Bangladesh. We pray for Bangladesh. A fire broke out in Dhaka, Bangladesh yesterday. So we are very heartbroken. The fire actually started from a group of building in a located in a densely populated area known as Chalk Bazar, Dhaka. Those buildings used to um, used to st store chemicals. So once fire broke out, it spread entire Chalk Bazar, killing. <laughs> Close to 80 people. I used to go to Chok Bazar with my wife to eat uh, good food, especially Chok Bazar. It's very famous for uh, for Birani. Chok Bazar is is very famous for Birani, so I used to love the food, uh, especially uh, Birani. So we used to go to Chok Bazar to eat uh, eat Birani. So uh, the, the, it's it's very personal for me. So when I learned the news of uh, of the death of 70 innocent people. I felt so bad that I couldn't teach yesterday. These uh, 70 people could have been my parent. These 70 innocent people could have been my friend, family member, or could have been my, my children. So we are here to, to offer love and prayers to the family of 70 people who lost their life yesterday in the fire. We learned that a brave man, when he saw his pregnant wife fail to survive from the fire, the brave man, the husband, soon to be father, did not allow himself to escape from fire. What do we learn from this? One thing we learn from this is that the love is stronger than everything. That love glue us together is that the love makes us strong. Even our life is under fire. Don't cry. So we are here to offer prayers and our condolence, but I'm mindful that mere words do not match, do not match the depth of the sorrow of the family of 70 people who lost their loved one. Nor can they heal the heart, the wounded heart of the 70 families who lost their loved one. But we can only hope, we can only hope, we can only hope that they would know that they are not alone, that our world too torn apart, our world too torn apart with their world. We can't do anything, but we can, we can offer love, we can offer prayers. And we can learn from the, from the mistake. I'm here not to blame anyone, not to blame the politician, not to blame anyone, but to, but to ask them to learn from mistake. In the United States, we, uh, we have fire hydrant. A few have fire hydrant within 10 meters. So that during the fire, the firefighters can stop the fire immediately. There are two types of fire hydrant. One is wet barrel and one is dry barrel. The wet barrel one is, is the cheap one. The wet barrel one is the cheap one. The New York and other states use the wet barrel one is because the temperature is always, most of the time, above the room temperature. But the dry barrel one is kind of expensive. In places like Canada, they use the dry barrel one because the temperature fall down to below zero degree and they have to keep the water in a liquid level. So the, that one is expensive. But places like Bangladesh where the weather is always 
above the room temperature the fire hydrants is very cheap it's not expensive at all place like chalk bazaar where it is densely populated it should be fire hydrant at every corner of the street so that during the fire firefighter can use the fire hydrant because the water comes we have to learn from this event from this that we have to do something to prevent this type of thing in the future and that is fire hydrant we have to put fire hydrant at every corner not only in chalk bazaar around the bangladesh especially in cities especially in densely populated city where a simple fire can cause death of many people so yesterday when the news broke out i hold my family tight this is time to hold our family tight and let's all join together to pray for these 70 departed people who lost their life thank you for all listening you guys take care and we love you so much we wait for bangladesh we pray for bangladesh we do